Hey guys, I'm going to be reading Mr. Putter and Tabby Row the Boat. Mr. Putty and Tabby Row the Boat. Chapter 1. Sweaty. It was summer and the weather was very hot. Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby lay around all day and sweated. They sweated on the front porch. They sweated in the kitchen. They sweated under the oak tree. They even tried the basement, but they sweated there too. We're too old to sweat like this, Mr. Putter told Tabby. We shouldn't have any sweat left in us, but they did and they were miserable. Then Mr. Putter had an idea. Let's go to the big pond, he said to Tabby. We'll take Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke. Their neighbors, Mrs. Teaberry and her good dog Zeke, were sweaty too. Mr. Putter was sure of it because he had just seen Mrs. Teaberry dump a bowl of water on Zeke's head. He went to Mrs. Teaberry and told her his idea. She thought a trip to the pond was a wonderful idea. She said she would make tomato sandwiches, she would fix a kiwi salad, she would fill a jug with apple tea. Mr. Putter smiled. He liked Mrs. Teaberry's funny food. He went home to get Tabby ready. They were going to the big pond. Chapter two, the big pond. The big pond was not far away, so Mr. Putter and Tabby and Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke walked. It was a hot walk. It was a sweaty walk. It was a slow walk, but it got exciting. Mrs. Teaberry was wearing a big, wide hat covered with fake red grapes. A blue jay kept trying to steal the grapes. He swooped down and grabbed Mrs. Teaberry's hat from her head. Shoo, said Mrs. Teaberry. Scat, said Mr. Putter. Tabby and Zeke were too hot to do anything. Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry couldn't help laughing at the silly bird. Finally, Mrs. Teaberry gave it some kiwi salad and it flew away. When they got to the big pond, there was a woman there renting rowboats. Two dollars for two hours, she told them. Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry looked at each other. What a deal, they said. They loaded up Tabby and Zeke in lunch and rode away. Tabby curled up under one of the seats. Zeke tried to drink out of the pond. And Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry headed for a good shady place. Chapter three, Tall Tales. Mr. Putter spotted a clump of pine trees that made a good shady place. When they reached that place, Mrs. Teaberry took off her hat. Many of her fake red grapes were missing, but she didn't mind. She filled the hat with water and dumped it on Zeke's head. Zeke loved it. Tabby came out from under her seat. She batted a water bug on the pond. She forgot all about being hot. She just wanted that bug. Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry took off their shoes and put their feet in the water. They filled their cups with apple tea. They chewed on their tomato sandwiches and they finished what was left of their kiwi salad. They told each other tales from their lives. Mr. Putter told about the time he won the country worm race. He said his worm's name was Jack. Mrs. Teaberry told him about the time she won $300. She said she spent it all on nail polish. 
They laughed and laughed at each other's stories. Zeke drank the pond, Tabby batted the bug, and everybody was happy. Chapter 4. Much better. When it was time to row the boat back, Mr. Putter and Tabby weren't sweating anymore. Mrs. Teabury and Zeke were as cool as cucumbers. The trip had been a success. They left the rowboat with the rowboat woman and began the walk home. It was a hot walk, it was a sweaty walk, and it was a slow walk. When they got home, they were as hot as when they left. No one knew what to do. Mrs. Teaberry filled up her hat. and dumped water on everybody's head, even her own. And they all felt much better. And that was Mr. Putter and Tabby rode the boat.